Hey guys, welcome to Solve My Math Homework. So we have some new software, as you will notice in this video, so feel free to comment and let me know what you think of it. Today we're gonna look at some really simple logarithmic equations, and all of them just have to do with uh, switching from logarithmic form to exponential form. But a bunch of these came in over the weekend, so we really wanted to get these all in one video. So let's get started. All right, so when you see logarithmic form, you're gonna see something like this. Uh, and, and let's go ahead and, and write an example here. When you see something like log, okay, that's not a pen. Okay, let's see, log two of eight. Okay, so the base is two. Okay, so let me get my little pointer here. The base here is two. So you say log base two of eight. And what you're looking for in that case is an unknown exponent. That's really all a logarithm is. This is basically saying, what do I raise two to, all right? So probably should have picked a different number than two. Two raised to what power equals eight? That's all this says. And so then you would say, well, two to the third power equals eight. So my answer is three, okay? So once you get that, now let's get rid of this here. All right, maybe you need a bigger eraser. Okay, so once you get that, you see that a logarithm is simply an exponent. And anytime you have an unknown exponent, you will need a logarithm to solve that problem. Okay, so let's convert it from a form we're not familiar with yet, which is log form to exponential. So log base b of x equals y. Well, going to exponential form, b is the base. Okay, the base was, b in log, it's the base in exponential form. All right, what do we raise that to? We raise it to y. Remember we said a logarithm is simply an exponent. So the base raised to that logarithm is what gives us the final value here. And I probably should have used a different color for that, but the x, okay? So that's what you need to remember. b raised to the y power equals x is how you change a log into exponential form. So let's go ahead and look at a problem. So this problem says log base x of nine equals two. What I want you to get in the habit of doing is going ahead and putting it in exponential form. Your first step on all of these, especially the simple ones, is going to be to rewrite, okay? Your first step is put it into a form we know. So grab the base of x, pick up your exponent, land at the, f the final product. So x raised to the second power equals nine. All right, and then let's rewrite that. X to the second power equals nine. Now this is an actual equation I know how to solve. It's actually an equation I probably already know the answer to, but we're gonna solve it using the steps we've learned. We have X squared, the opposite of squaring is simply square rooting, okay? So we're gonna take the square root of both sides. We square root X squared, we get X. When we take the square root here, the base of a log is always gonna be positive. We want the principal square root only. Okay, so we get x equals three. And what does this mean? Well, if we rewrite this over here, that means the log of base three of nine is two, which means if I wanna take three, I would need to raise it to the second power in order to get nine. Okay, so let's look at another one. Uh, how about this one? So this one, log base seven of some number x equals two. Again, we're gonna start out exactly how we did last time. We're going to rewrite it. We're gonna start at the base of seven, loop-de-loop, -loop, pick up the two as the exponent, land at x. So what did we just get? We got seven squared equals x. This one is so much easier to solve. I just have to do seven squared, which is 49. My answer is 49. So this says log base, oops, close my O there, log base seven of 49 equals two, which means seven squared equals 49, and it does. All right, now let's look at one that's a little bit different, and it causes grief for maybe a different reason than the last one. So this one says log base five of one, one, one 25th, sorry about that, and there is no variable, and they might write it like this. They might just say evaluate or simplify, because they want to know, do you understand that this is simply asking five to what power is one over 25? That's what they really want to know, okay? So that a lot of times they will not give you an, a variable, 
Okay, let's see if I can make this bigger. Definitely did, good. All right, so now let's talk about this. Let's first of all add a variable. I always like to add an X, or actually, let's, keeping with the um, form we just learned, let's go ahead and say that this equals Y. All right, so the first step, again, is going to be rewrite it. Remember we said we're going to rewrite it into a form that we know. Okay, what happened to my R? Rewrite it, so let's do that. That means we take the five, that's our base, start at the base, pick up our exponent, land at one over 25. So five to the Y power equals one over 25. Okay, we've rewritten it. Now this is probably causing us grief for a different reason, because it involves a fraction after you raise something to a power. So here's what you need to remember on this one. Anytime you get a fraction, you need to think negative exponents. Okay, so negative exponents, so negative exponents are simply reciprocals. They just give you fractions. And what I mean by that is anytime you have x to the negative, let's say one, that means one over x to the first. If I had x to the negative fifth, that would be one over x to the fifth. Okay, see that negative as a reciprocal and then raise it to that positive power once you've flipped it. Okay, so let's get rid of that because it looks awful. All right, so then what you need to ask yourself is, well, five to what power gives me 25? And then you would just negate it. So five to what power gives you 25? Five squared equals 25, right? So since we know, 5 squared equals 25. We know then 5 to the negative second power would be 1 over 25. Remember, your negative exponents are just the reciprocal. If 5 squared is 25, then 5 to the negative second power is 1 over 25. And these shouldn't give you any problem then. All right, I really hope this helped. These are the basic, basic. We haven't gone through properties of logs. We haven't gone through expanding and combining them yet. This is just the basic. Usually one of the first two things you see with logarithms is to evaluate these or solve these or simplify these, whatever they ask. So if it helped, great. If you have questions, pop them in the comments section. Also, let me know what you think of this new software. I realize that my handwriting looks like um, I might be in third grade, even though I'm quite older. So give me, a, give me an idea what you think about this software if I have to keep searching for something else. Again, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe because the only reason I did this video is because one of my subscribers sent it in. And uh, have a good one.